So, let's take a look at the most terrifying planets we've found so far. We don't have to travel far to find nightmare fuel. Why would we when we practically have hell right next to us? Venus is often depicted as Earth's sibling or sister, but that couldn't be further from the truth. In the scorching heat of 400 degrees Celsius and sulfuric acid rain that would burn your body, you wouldn't even have time to suffer through all that for a second, cause the pressure alone would have already killed you. So no, Venus is not Earth's sister. Wasp 76b orbits his star at over 600 light years away from us. The planet is about two times the size of Jupiter, due to its temperature exceeding 2400 degrees Celsius. On the day side, his ferocious winds carry iron in vapor form. It gets carried to the night side, where the vapor condenses and turns into a hot iron rain. Anything foolish enough to stand there would be incinerated in fiery flames and pelted by the shards of razor-hot metal. Known as the planet with an eternal night, Tress 2b absorbs almost all light of his star and is blacker than coal. Weirdly, his atmosphere still burns as hot as lava under endless darkness. If you would be there, you wouldn't even be given the dignity of seeing the planet you die on, only a void lit by savage fire. This planet was given the nickname Slasher. Why? It's because the winds there travel at almost 9000 kilometers per hour. Not only that, but these howling winds send storming glass traveling sideways. It's a planet of hell, cutting winds and dark clouds, utterly unforgiving to any living thing. Poltergeist orbits a pulsar. A pulsar is simply said a crash dead star that is extraordinarily massive while being very small. Pulsars emit gamma ray bursts and x-ray bursts. These are destructive and radiated. Constant X-rays and gamma rays plague Poltergeist's surface, making it a radiated hell. Any atmosphere or life would be obliterated instantly. Poltergeist is an eternal beacon of flashes, where every night is lit by deadly cosmic rays. 